In this video, I'll consider a design of synchronous counter. Design synchronous 3-bit up counter using JK flip-flop. So we need to design 3-bit counter. It means n is equal to 3. So if n is equal to 3, that is 2 power n, that is 2 power 3, we have 8 states. So those 8 states are 0 to 7. So to design 3-bit counter, we need 3 flip-flops. That is, we need to use JK flip-flop. The first step is we have to write the truth table. So first consider the excitation table. Since we are designing using JK flip-flop, this is first we need to write JK flip-flop excitation table. This is the excitation table for JK flip-flop. That is excitation table for JK flip-flop. So excitation table is the one where present state, next state and inputs are present. So this is the excitation table of GK flip-flop. Now with the help of this, we need to write the truth table. The truth table consists of present state, next state and flip-flop inputs. Present state is the present state is the one where present inputs are considered. Next state is the one where the inputs after applying the clock pulse. Since we are designing 3-bit up counter, the states are 0 to 7. It will count from 0 to 7. The count sequence is like this. 0, then from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. After 7, it will go back to 0. So let me consider in the present state, let me consider all present values. So it will count 0 to 7. Now let me write all possible values from 0 to 7. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let me write in binary. This is 1. We have 2. This is 3. This is 4. This is 5. We have 6 and we have 7. Now let me tell you how to write the next state. From this we can observe that the present state is 0, the next state is 1. If present state is 0, next state is 1. That is if it is 0, it will be 1. So from 1 to 2, present state is 1, next state is 2. 0, 1, 0. Likewise, this is 2, next state is 3. That is 0, 1, 1. This is 3, next state is 4. That is 1, 0, 0. This is 4, next one is 5, 1, 0, 1. It is 5, next one is 6, 1, 1, 0. Present state is 6, next state is 7, 1, 1, 1. Present state is 7, here we can see present state is 7, next state is 0, 0, 0, 0. So after writing present state and the next state, we need to write the flip-flop inputs. This flip-flop inputs are written by using the excitation table. Here we can observe that if present state is 0, Qn plus 1 means next state. If present state is 0, next state is 0, the flip-flop inputs are j is 0, k is x. Likewise, for 0, 1, it is 1x. For 1, 0, it is x1. For 1, 1, it is x0. One should remember this. Now, with the help of this excitation table, I will write flip-flop inputs. So, let me consider qc as present input, qc plus as next input, which is equivalent to qn and qn plus 1. So, the corresponding inputs are JC and KC. Here we can see that present state is 0, next state is 0. That is for 0, 0, it is 0x, zero 0x, zero 0, 0, it is again 0x. Here we have 0, 0, that is 0x. Here we have 0, 1. Here we can refer 0, 1 means 1x, 1x. Here we have 1, 1, 1, 1 is x0. For 1, 1, that is x0. For 1, 1, that is x0 again. For 1, 0. For 1, 0, it is x1. So thus we have written the inputs for JC and KC. Since as I said, here we need to use 3 JK flip-flops. So each JK, each JK flip-flop has 2 inputs. So this is 1 input, this is 1 flip-flop, this is 2nd flip-flop. Likewise, this is third flip-flop. Here I have assumed that QC is MSB, QA as LSB. I can write this is MSB and this is LSB. 
now let me write jb and kb by looking at qb and qb plus qb is present state qb plus is next state that is i can write it as when it is 0 0 0 0 is 0 x similarly 0 1 0 1 means 1 x we have 1 1 1 1 is x 0 here we have 1 0 1 0 is x 1 here we have 0 0 0 0 is 0 x we have 0 1 0 1 is 1 x we have 1 1 1 1 is x 0 we have 1 0 1 0 means x 1 similarly now let me write j k inputs by seeing q a and q a plus so i can write so here it is 0 1 0 1 is 1 x we have 1 0 1 0 is x 1 we have 0 1 0 1 is 1 x we have 1 0 1 0 is x 1 we have 0 1 0 1 is 1 x we have 1 0 1 0 is x 1 we have 0 1 0 1 is 1 x and we have 1 0 1 0 is x 1 so thus we have written the complete truth table for the synchronous counter now by looking at flip-flop inputs we have to derive the expression for flip-flop inputs by using kmap since here we have n is equal to 3 we have 8 states so we should use 3 variable kmap that is 8 cell kmap and for each jc kc jb kb j and k we have to derive the boolean expression now first let me consider jc input i will use this three variable kmap for jc that is for jc so this is the way of writing three variable kmap these are the cell numbers that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 since qc is msb qa is lsb we should write like this this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is the way of writing three variable kmap this already explained in my previous videos now let me enter the values in kmap so here we can say that for 0 1 it is 0 0 0 and for 3 it is 1 for 3 it is 1 for 0 1 2 it is 0 then for 4 5 6 7 it is x for 4 5 6 7 it is x now let me simplify this so 1 is paired with x i can make a pair so value of this is jc is equal to this is 1 1 means qb qa qb qa so this is the boolean expression for jc input similarly now let me consider kc i'll consider this kmf for kc let me enter the values by looking at this truth table we have x x x x that is for 0 1 2 3 it is x 2 3 it is x and for 4 5 6 it is 0 4 5 6 it is 0 for 7 it is 1 let me simplify this so it is x 1 means i can make a pair here the value of this is i can write kc is equal to again qb qa that is qb qa Now let me consider jb so i will take this for jb for jb so here x x 0 1 i can write x x 0 1 then we have x x 0 1 that is x x 0 1 let me simplify this so here we have 1 1 here we have xx together i can make a quad here i can make a quad since it covers these two column common factor is 1 that is qa therefore jb is equal to qa 
now let me derive the expression for kb so we have xx01 so this is for kb that is for kb i will use this we have xx01 that is x x 0 1 then we have x x 0 1 again it is x x 0 1 let me do the grouping so this one this one and these two x together we can make a quad so the value of this is kb is equal to 1 is common that is qa so kb is also equal to qa Finally, this is I will consider for J and K that is for J and this is for K. Let me write the values. So here J 1x, 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 1x. So I can write 1x, 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 we have 1x. So here I can do the grouping of all the cells the value of this is j is equal to 1 1 means logic high similarly for ka here we can see x1 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 let me write the same thing here we have x1 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 x and 1 let me do the grouping so it with this we can cover all the cells so value of this will be k is equal to 1 so now we have derived the flip-flop inputs now we have to draw the circuit since we need three flip-flops these are the three flip-flops j k j b and k c these are the three j k flip-flops now according to the synchronous counter the clock signal is given simultaneously to all the flip-flops so this is the clock signal here clock is given simultaneously to all the flip-flops here this bubble indicates negative edge triggered it means for falling edge of the clocks the flip-flop will be active now according to the derivation we have to write the inputs for j a k j b k b and j c and k c so here we can see j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 it means j a and k a are connected to logic high that is short j a and k a connected to logic high that is 1 means logic high now we can see for kb it is qa for kb it is qa means this is qa output qa output is connected to kb connected to kb like this so kb is equal to qa likewise here we can see jb is nothing but qa so jb is also qa so this is qa output of first flip flop this is connected here so jb and kb both values are qa so qa is connected to jb and kb like this now let's see jc and kc so jc is qb qa kc is qb qa it means qb here we have qb here we have qa qb qa means we need to use one and get let me use one AND gate. The input is one input is QA. This is one input. Another input is QB. Another input is QB. The output of this is connected to JC. So output of this is given to JC and KC. This is JC and KC are shorted. The output of this is connected to here. So this is QC output. This is QC bar. So at QA at qb and at qc we will get the output this is the circuit diagram for three bit synchronous up counter now let me draw the waveform let me consider this is the clock pulses so let me consider the falling edge so falling edge is shown like this at every falling edge the arrow mark is shown like this this is the clock signal So let me assume this is the first clock signal, this is second clock signal, this is third, this is fourth, this is fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and so on. Here only I have shown nine cycles. So let me assume 
this is qc output let me assume this is qb output let me assume this is qa output so here we can observe that at the beginning the out at the beginning the value will be 0 0 0 when the first negative edge of the clock arrives it will become 0 0 1 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 1 when second cycle second negative edge arrives it will become 2 that is this will be 0 1 0 when third negative edge arrives it will become 3 that is 0 1 1 here it is goes high when it is 4 it will be 1 0 0 this is high here qc will become high qb will be 0 qa will be 0 5 means this will be 1 this is 1 it is shown up this is 0 as this is 0 and this is 1 that is 1 0 1 is 5 after 6 cycle it will become 6 that is 1 this is 1 this is 0 then we have 7 that is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 so after 8 cycle again it will become 0 0 0 so this is the waveform for 3 bit synchronous up counter thank you for watching